Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. It's Gina B. Living Fully, where I do Dollar Tree hauls every Sunday. And when I get a chance, I try to do some Dollar Tree haul or content in the middle of the week. Uh, I had some really cool finds today. It's not a big haul, but the things I found were really awesome. And I want to feature this amazing basket. So this is a gorgeous basket that I found for $5 at the Dollar Tree. Now this is a good size basket and it held all of my items that I purchased today. By the way, if you're new here, I am so grateful that you stopped by. I would love it if you would stick around and watch till the end, see if you like what I haul and if you can handle my vocal, whatever. <laughs> um, I would love to have you like, share, and subscribe if you like the content. Um, and those of you who have already done that, you know I love you. But yes, look at this beautiful basket that I found in the $5 section at the Dollar Tree. So no, it is not a dollar twenty-five, but I can tell you right now that a basket of this stature you would never find anywhere else, maybe at a thrift store. But my last basket I scored at a thrift store was a lot more. It was a little bit bigger this than this and it was like twelve dollars. So Thrift stores have gone way up with their baskets, and this is handmade. What a find. What a find. I know. I'm a basket girl, and I'm a scarf girl, so you know. I see a basket. I must have it. Now, $1.25, I found these little gems. My daughter is gonna be having the boy, the little baby boy. Um, it's pro, you know projected to be Christmas Eve or day, but we're thinking it could be earlier. We're having a little John Jr. the or the third, John the third, and look at those moons and clouds. Now that would be beautiful for a little girl too. And we picked up these adorable little guys. Aren't those lovely? A dollar twenty-five. Now these would be more elsewhere. And I was very thrilled to find those. Um, I did pick up. This is a five-dollar item. I love my black ones, so I picked up some really nice gray ones in a medium. I buy them in a medium so that they don't have to overstretch. Um, the smalls fit great, but I, I find I feel a little self-conscious. I would rather have them be just a, a decent fit and not stretch because I worry about seeing through them. I don't know why. I, you don't, but so I, I buy just one size bigger in this particular brand at the Dollar Tree. So if if you go work out and you're worried about your tushy showing, I say just go one little size up um, on this particular little brand. And it's, there is no brand here. It's just this collections by juncture. It is, it's juncture. And so the juncture, I go one size up. It just really helps me feel more confident when I'm going to the club. Um, I don't get that overstretched look. Uh, it, these are so soft, you guys, and I love them. Absolutely love them. So I got a pair of those. $5, by the way. Fair price. Um, back to $1.25. I found these gorgeous picks. Now these have a fall leaf. These were obviously in the florals, and it's just called a fall pick, and it's got a little um looks like little baby sunflowerish looking thing little berries of some sort 
You know, it just has that beautiful fall glow to it. Now, what I like to do when I buy something that is um, of the silk fake family, it does have a couple pine cones that are real. I like to get real twigs and add them, and it just makes it look so much richer. And we are going into that fall season. Now, I have a sweet little basket in my um, kitchen, and I just set up the orange little lights that I got from Dollar Tree. I hauled a few hauls ago from the um, $5 area, these special little flame-looking orange lights. They're in that basket, and I think I'm going to set these in there. I just really like these, you guys. These are far more expensive at Hobby Lobby. So grab them for $1.25. They will not last. Loved those. And then I found, so this is a huge, cool amount. I don't really shop razors there at the Dollar Tree, but I found these. You get two blades on each one. You get four pack. For $1.25, I've never seen a four-pack of razors for $1.25. This is Barbasol brand. I've gotten these for years at different grocery stores for a lot more money. So please put a comment in the comments below. Do you use the razors from Dollar Tree? If you do, which brand has been the safest for you? Um, I picked up these Barbasol ones because I have used them from grocery stores in the past in a pinch. Um, not my favorite brand, but they're safe. Like, I don't have trouble with them. I get rashes really easy. So, these work for me. Tell me what's worked best for you. Um, I'd like to know. But it's a two-blader. I don't need three, four, five blades. I don't need all of that. And I was out, so... I tried it, but four, I know. Okay, I'm sorting for a minute. Uh, this is an awesome find, and I think these will look amazing, um, possibly on one of my walls during Halloween. I think it will look awesome. These are Black Crows. You get a lot of these for a buck twenty-five, you guys. There's a lot in there. There's a lot. You could do a whole feature wall, make them look like they're flying into um, the night sky with the moon or something. You know, just get creative. But I think these kind of flying on a wall could look really cool. Um, I don't know if they stick on their own. Seasonal collection, a 15-piecer. It's just decor. You get five pieces of the 11.5-inch. That's big. You get five pieces of the 8.5-inch, and you get five pieces of a 5.5-inch. So, I mean, a huge variety of decor. This would look awesome on a, on a wall. This would look really awesome on a wall. I love it. It could look great in a window. I just thought, wow, for a buck twenty-five, I couldn't get that anywhere else for a buck twenty-five. Um, and then, oh my gosh! So I have a story, and um, it was kind of shocking, but I'm going to do a comparable. So I forgot to bring it over. I'm going to run out of the frame super quick so I can show you this and then give you a comparable for $1.25. I was shocked. I thought these were cheap online. We bought these moons that light up. I think you know what I'm talking about when I talk about a little, it's a little LED moon light. Um, we got them to uh, dance with. I'm an old belly dancer and we can't have candles in this place. And, um, we're doing a haunted oasis show and um <laughs> these these were like 40 bucks for two of them hold on i'm gonna run and get them but um hang on guys uh so here it is 
it comes with a cool hand, right? And you just hit it and it has the moonlight and then it goes into more of a, um, so now it turns more of a golden, so like a harvest moon versus more of a, that's a winter moon and that's a harvest moon. So you get the two colors and you get it with this cool hand, holds it up, very cool and really cool to do some, you know, hand work. Um, very fun to play with. Okay. Loved it. Loved it. But I was in shock. <laughs> so this was an Amazon product. I think they were each $19.99 and I got two. So that's 40 bucks. I found, I walked in, this was, this was there, the little LED light with a holder for $1.25. So I'm thinking, so there it is. It's a little smaller. It might be easier for us to dance with, but I think what I'll do is I might paint this so it's not so blue. It's a kind of a blue fluorescent-y light, and I'd like to um, change that a little bit. So what I might do is um, gloss over it with a little bit of yellow and decoupage. I'm gonna experiment and see what happens, and then maybe add glitter, I don't know. But, oh my gosh, they turn on real easy. It takes those little tiny batteries that are, um, you know, you can put them in different um, candles, you know, the fake candles. They're those. I forget what you call those kind of batteries, but it's those kind, and it's got a lot of burning time. Um, and then it comes with this little stand. And I mean, it's just as cool, but it doesn't burn that glow. It doesn't offer the glow but a dollar 25 versus the hold on I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming back up versus so here's the size difference so a good I would say circumference of a full inch okay so I'm gonna set this here <laughs> and then this guy there it is and then it it goes into an more of an orangey. So you can see the difference in color here. You can really see that, you guys. But my God, $19, $1.25. So uh, to me, you just can't beat it. And you really need to check if you're doing um, stocking stuffers. I highly recommend that before you just go on to Amazon, I love Amazon though. You know what I mean? I love Amazon. Sorry you guys, it's nighttime. It's about 1030 at night. So I I feel like my lighting just kind of went wicky wacky. There it is. I need to get this out of the way. Um, but anyway, so I got these and I'm gonna surprise my dance partner with them because I was just blown away. A dollar twenty-five for that setup. What a great thing to give somebody to put on their desk. Um, it's just so dreamy looking. And um, I liked it so much, I got four. So two for her, two for me, for each hand. I just was blown away. I'm like, oh my God. So I told her and she went, what? And I went, yeah. So I got us backup. So we have backup and... Go for the moons, go get the moons. The little LED moons, children love them. Um, what, a, what a great desk piece. I mean, I just thought that was amazing. Amazing. And then you guys, these are just getting bigger and bigger. I'm loving the their um, stones with the sayings on them. I put these in all my gifts for people, okay? That one says believe, and then I got one that says dream. So I just gave like three away, so I'm replacing them. Dream, and then I got 
faith. I love the color of the fade. I just thought that was so pretty. You guys, these are wonderful for desks, stocking stuffers. If you've got a kid going to college, they need some cheap decor. What a wonderful thing to do to do the moon, you know? That, that would be so cool um, on their little desk. And then to maybe give them one of these put it in their care packages. It's just a, a wonderful sentiment. Um, I just love Dollar Tree for that reason. Now, some personal items I did find were, these are wonderful, like I get really sweaty at work this time of year with doing massage in this level of heat, even though we're in a cold building. We can feel it from the ground. I can't explain that, but we just feel it when you're working. A lot of us go barefoot when we're doing our body work. I'm an old massage therapist, and um, you know we work really, really hard uh, this time of year. I live in a tourist town, so we attract not only locals, but people blowing through town to get to Tahoe. And um, I found these mode desks. Now these are for feminine personal care, pH balance, no parabens and no phthalates. And I just, sometimes I just need to go into the bathroom and clean up all the parts and reapply some, you know, uh, deodorant and wash my hands really good and I'm on my way. And I love to take this not only to work, but if I'm belly dancing somewhere and we're doing costume changes, this is wonderful. Um, if you work outside, if you're camping, I just, you know, I, I spent a lot of money in the past for uh, things like this. So a dollar twenty-five, and you get thirty-two wipes. So I mean, that's a really good deal. So I picked those up. Okay, cosmetics. Um, Wet and Wild and two sets, you guys, with the glue. Now, a lot of times the glue that comes with these is dried up. It doesn't bother me. I have a great lash glue um, in a bigger tube, so I don't care about that, but it just FYI. But what I love what Wet and Wild is doing, as you know, they're packaging a lot of items, even those um, stickers for Halloween that go in your face. They're doing a lot of really cool things, so check the makeup section for the Wet n Wild um, Little Lashes. These ones are called uh, Shutter Shock, and they just seem really lightweight. They don't seem to be over the top. So, two packs for a buck twenty-five. I'm impressed with that. Then. I found, this is so convenient, uh, LA Colors Black Pencil for either your eyebrow, it could be eyeliner. Um, I like to make fake moles sometimes when I'm belly dancing, like if I do a special look. Um, once in a while I like to do a throwback look, um, 1920s belly dance look, and I like to do a, a little mole. This uh, product is excellent, and so they had two in a pack for a buck twenty-five, and they're cruelty-free. So, you know, dollar twenty-five LA Colors. They had a lot of makeup, not the new palettes and things I've been seeing, but plenty of makeup um, to enjoy. Let me know, have you guys? gotten the duo pack of eyeliner eyebrow pencil and did you get brown we only had black at my store let me know in the comments below I want to know because I'll keep my eye out for the brown I need that for my eyebrows but I got that just for eyeliner to take when I'm belly dancing or like if I'm at work and I need a touch up it's tiny it fits in the purse well um, and then I found, this is by Be Pure Essentially Ageless Blush Rose Lipstick. 
Now, I have not seen this color, Blush Rose, so we're going to see what it looks like. I thought it was quite pretty. And um, looks very expensive. Look how nice that is. And it's very pretty. Look at that. And I'm going to swatch it. That is what, oh, it smells like roses. I think it's infused with rose oil. This is very moisturizing. It goes on, in my opinion, very similar to something you would get at the health food store that's like a tinted lip balm. That is what it feels like and that is what it looks like. Um, it's not super heavy pigmented. So it's a nice lightweight lipstick that actually could work really well on your cheeks. So I'm just saying this because it's moisturizing and I think for $1.25, it's an excellent find. But yeah, it is not um, a matte. It is not a uh, really um, intense color look. It's very light. It's just what I wanted. And I like to add something shiny over the top. So yeah, this was called Blush Rose by Be Pure Simply Ageless, okay? Or just, essent sorry, Essentially Ageless. Really nice color. I love it. It's very soft. It feels a lot like a lip balm. It is really nice. There's something a little tingly about it. It reminds me a little bit of when you use the, they call it the snake oil, but I feel my lips being a little stimulated. It's not hurt hurtful at all. It actually feels kind of good, but yeah, and it's really soft and velvety. Uh, it would make a great blush. That color stayed on there, but not intense like a lipstick normally would. Um, I also found um, this LA Colors. Uh, this is such a gorgeous color. It's called Bliss, and it is a lip gloss, glossy finish, um, very moisturizing, vitamin E enriched lip gloss. And again, it's called Bliss. I'm going to just hold this up for a minute. It's called Bliss. It's very mauve -y, and I just thought it might enhance this, make it look really pretty. So we shall see. I hope everybody's doing good today and that you're having a wonderful holiday weekend. A lot of people around here are traveling through to get to Tahoe for the three-day weekend. And yeah, it's been busy up where I live. Okay. So again, this was called... Um, Bliss. Okay. And we're just going to put... Oh, it tastes like bubble gum. And, uh... It's beautiful. Not a whole lot of color. Don't need it. Paired with the lipstick, I think it's going to be magnificent. That's perfect for me for work. I, I love that. Oh, and it tastes delightful. And uh, that was an LA Colors product for $1.25. Can't beat it. And then I found La Mercier Volumizing Mascara. And uh, this is obviously a midnight black. And the product looks like, I'm going to back up, 
the product looks like this, La Mercier, and it's in midnight black. I've been having some interesting issues with mascara. Now, I bought um, Mineral Infusion, which is a very expensive brand at my health food store, and it's okay, but it seems to kind of get, it can get clumpy. Then I bought the old Maybelline that was a standby since I was a teenager, um, just as a backup, and that was really clumpy. I don't know what happened to that mascara. That just is not what it used to be, and the applicator is way different than it used to be. Um, and then I tried a couple of the Dollar Tree brands. <clears throat> Didn't work, and the one um, that I just picked out the Le Mercier is one I have absolutely not tried there is an LA colors one that's always there in the blue but they haven't been stocking it so I've been having some trouble with mascara <laughs> so I'm trying this one and hopefully it won't be dry and clumpy I've been having real trouble with this you guys but I saw somebody um, talk about this uh, that hauled it that said it was a great product. Now look, I'm going to tell you right now that is not a great product. Look, that broke. That broke. Not happy about it. And that just ended that program. That is a real bummer. So now I'm going to tell you be careful with this product. La Mercier Mascara No Bueno. I wanted you to see that that happened. Um, I had high hopes for it, but it looks like I'm sticking to my Mineral Fusion, which is just a little, a little dry. <laughs> but it's a, it's a very expensive product, and I thought for a buck to, but see, No Bueno, the La Mercier Midnight Black. Now. Not every bottle's gonna do that. Not every tube of mascara is gonna have that problem, but I wouldn't trust it, and um, that's un really unfortunate. Yeah, that will not repair itself, so that's going straight to the garbage. But for a buck twenty-five, why not try? But yeah, I've been I've been struggling with the mascaras, even at Dollar Tree. The, I always got the blue one, and then they stopped. Docking it. I think you guys know what I'm talking about and I want to say it's LA colors and It's in a blue tube and it's good. It's got a very thin wand and They just don't stock it. They're stocking a pink one, which isn't the same um, So yeah, if you find a good mascara at the Dollar Tree for a buck 25 that isn't clumpy not too dry Please let me know in the comments below I would like to know and also one that doesn't fall apart like that one but anyway you guys this this was the awesome deal the comparable the moon that cost me 19 versus the moon that only cost me a dollar 25 I am so stoked about that I can't even tell you so yeah very excited for that find and of course my basket that is beautiful i'm in love with that that's going to make such a pretty fall flower arrangement i cannot wait anyway you guys have a really good rest of your holiday weekend and i will see you if not in the middle of the week you know i'll see you sunday take care and i'll talk to you soon again if you're new please like share and subscribe and if you've already done that, know I love you to the moon and back. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.